48 piercing magical. 48? On yeah. A D8 and a D4? I doubled them. Plus, there's a dumb sharpshooter bonus on it. Oh, yeah. My, can don't forget my plus 10 damage oh, okay, from sharpshooter. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Which is utter horseshit. Uh, and then I'm going to key point step of the wind and move back. <laughs> Okay, it's going to bring us to Adrix. All right. Am I, do I have enough movement to climb on top of the giant and get back squeeze down? Squeeze these squares. It's difficult terrain. I just yep. need to squeeze. And it sounds like, all right, if I need to squeeze, I'm out there. Once, yeah, once you get the other like, side, need, you're in the room. Unless you're a monk. Definitely not a monk. Wow. Well. Start over from character creation. Yep. Yeah. All right. Get points for it either. Um. Damn it. All right. No, oh, there's too much going on in there. Let's just, uh, <laughs> let's toss a javelin wildly over what happens. Just blindly throwing a javelin? All right. Yeah. Percent on it first. <laughs> and then a hit roll at disadvantage. All right, metals tens. Okay. Twelve, and roll at disadvantage. Oh, the twelve. And you whip Madam Javelin up over this dead giant, and you don't hear anybody scream in the next room. <laughs> Guys, we've got a problem. What's the problem? There's a giant in the way. <laughs> <laughs> I've moved. I'm good. I'd call that an asset, actually, but... Different strokes. How, how are we gonna beat them? Adrix wildly gesticulates. <laughs> Gotta hop on pop. I can't hop on pop. I have to squeeze through... No breeze. <laughs> you have to what? Uh, some word that rhymes with squeeze. Breeze. I have, I have a question. This is a chair, right? Like with a back. It's or is kind it a of just a big pile of disgusting straw and debris that's been kind of shaped to this thing's backside. It's difficult to tell, looking at him, where the giant ends and the chair begins. Yeah, no. At the chair. Okay, now my giants get to go. Can any of us actually speak giant? Nope. Doesn't Adric speak giant? No, he speaks. Adric, uh, Adric speaks orc. Great. Adric speaks orc. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Thought Red spoke giant. Nope. You hear some crashing and trundling around in the next room as the giants are repositioning themselves. Oh, I do speak giant. Oh, you do? Yep. <laughs> yeah, I just remembered. I speak giant. <laughs> How much longer is left on Hadar? Like, five more turns. Let's get yep. a strength no. saving throw from everybody in the room. Make this check at advantage. DC is 15. Maybe I'll learn how to roll. Which square are you in, Razu? Oh, just made it. I am in this space right okay. here. I learned how to roll. So, Wendy and Adrix get the plus three from me. Don't need it. Nope. Already right. passed. Razu passed. Adrix passed. 
you failed, failed, you are knocked prone as once again the quaking and tantruming in the next room causes you to lose your feet. Now it's starting to sound panicked more than angry. Uh, and he's starting to, because it's been revealed now that you can speak giant, he's now making appeals to Taglith himself. That if they don't defend his life, that they'll have Taglith to answer to. Red, what are you going to do about it? I've colored the colors. Um, I'm going to stand up from prone and take that three-quarter stealth shot on this guy. Now, are you going to climb up to the top like Wendy, or are you going to squeeze through and fire and then move back? Thought I could do it with three-quarters cover from the hiding spot I got last turn. Right, but I, if you're going to fire completely blind, you have no idea what you're aiming mm -hmm. at. I mean, this guy doesn't move. <laughs> I'll just shoot where he was last turn. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, so that'll hit an armor class of 19. That's good. Are you using one of my special arrows? Uh, where are the special arrows? They're in my really yeah. there. I'll grab They're a special. I'll take the non-cipher special arrow bonus. Um, is that a D4 and what? It's a plus, it's a plus one, arrow. one arrow. Yeah. It's a D8 plus birdie spellcasting ability modifier. It's a D8. And he oh, cannot see me where I am, right? No, he can't. It's plus one and deals an extra 1d4 force. Oh, so I, I guess. I'm sorry, I thought you cast spiritual weapon. No, elemental weapon. Oh. Why did I hear spiritual? Because I said spiritual, I was like, I couldn't remember the name of the spell at first. Oh. So that, with the vulnerability, would be uh, 46 okay. damage. Uh, no longer hidden, so let's go ahead and... 5, 10, 15... And, uh, because I had to stand up, and then I will give Windy advantage on our next attack against the big guy. Thank you. Okay, it's going to bring us to Rasu. Rasu is going to take up a defensive stance here. Actually... I really don't have a way to get it to get a, a javelin shot off at this guy because that takes twenty feet of movement to get to where I can I can actually throw the javelin. I mean, I could just ten foot move back there, I guess, sliding off the uh, the corpse of the you giant. Stay up on top of there. That super easy. Nah, I don't think so. I don't, I don't like that idea. But you are climbing up on top. Yeah, the, the, my intention is to climb up, throw a javelin at um, at the orc eater, and then jump back off of the course. Okay. What's your passive perception? That, my passive perception is not great. It is an eleven. Okay. Go ahead and make that roll. Take one javelin at. Uh, that's only an eleven to hit. And Levin does not hit. Let's take another javelin shot at him. Wow, he has pretty good decks. That's a lot better, actually. That's a twenty-four. To twenty-four hit. will do it. <laughs> let's give the let's give Paladin Stank another go. No. Mm, that's a little bit better. That's seven piercing damage. Oh wait, hold on, I gotta double all this. Uh, it's. 14 piercing and 20 radiant damage. So 34 altogether. Okay. And you hear his groans and cries are getting more and more labored as the breathing is becoming more and more difficult as he's sustaining damage. As he slips down behind the. As he slips on, like basically directly behind the okay. corpse. And you hear one of the orcs call out from the doorway back here. They throw orcs or orcs. hobgoblin. They throw out the bloody tentacles again. I don't know where they went. <laughs> I'm not sure which of you speaks orcish, but that's what he that's what was said. Adrex. So Adrex, yeah, you hear the voice from back here in the doorway of one of the orcs in Orcish. 
<laughs> That's going to bring us to Birdie. I am going to decrementing the, the tentacles block. Do you want? Oh, okay. I will also What's climb up here. Perception? It's like 37, right? My 19. 19. These two giants right here are in the process of bum rushing the doorway. They're going to lower their shoulders and throw them both into this giant laying here probably going to pull her directly into the room. So standing okay, up on top well, of here, uh, ending your turn up there would be a very, very bad idea. Well, in that case, I'm going to just uh, take one of my... I'm going to shoot this guy. <laughs> okay. Screw him. Screw that guy. Shoot him. That is a <coughs> 11. 11 to hit? 11's not going to yeah. hit. So I'm going to cunning action and get over, get out from there. And then as I'm running away, I'm like, I'm going to yell at Razu and tell him uh, they're coming. It's going to bring us to Vindy. Alright. I'm going to yell at Adrix, get Razu out of the way. And then I'm gonna hop back up there. Uh. Windy. I don't love that. I think with your blind sight, it's actually not an yeah, advantage for them to get closer. For me. <laughs> like, it's completely... Yeah, but two of them don't have to roll a disadvantage <laughs> against you this turn. One of them still does. Oh, they all rolled real low, though. Ooh, I'm going to re-roll that. I don't like any of those numbers. Yeah, try that again. a redo on that. Just a DM veto power. Yeah. No, the three ogres standing in the room launch javelins as you scramble up there, but you just absolutely dance and dodge out of the way, and they all just pierce the back wall of the larder. And then I'm going to... Huck a nice uh, couple of arrows this boy's way. First one's going to be Sharpshooter with Red's special eyes. Did you get one of my arrows? Ah, uh, sure. So that's, I got seven left. 16 to hit. 16 will hit. Four. Let me grab two D4s this time. Those fools, though, they've given Adrix more javelins. <laughs> That's 52. Magical force okay. piercing. And then I'm going to shoot another. How's he looking? Uh, he, he started out looking terrible. I mean, even if, it, <laughs> even if he wasn't under the effects of flesh rot, he's still the most disgusting creature you've ever seen. I uh, shoot another sharp hitter. So kind of hard to tell the pig's blood from Pretty his much, blood. Yeah. That'll hit sixteen. Yes. For another forty-four, 44. piercing force magical. <laughs> I mean, Holy you put shit. an arrow, and it goes deep into the flab on his neck, and yet he doesn't stop breathing. His breathing becomes more labored. You can see the blood running down his face, but you can't tell if it's his or if it's the pigs that he's been swallowing. It just uh, jiggles. Oh, you! I'm dead. out of here. This sucks. You can't land on this table. This table's been destroyed. C can I land on the destroyed remnants sure. of this table? <laughs> Roll to perch. <laughs> oh, I, I perch as a Rachel feet. Now, what I could do is I could hurl an axe at Razu, and she could <laughs> fail the saving throw on purpose, thus moving her 15 feet. That's tempting. It's really tempting, but instead I'm going to go over and yank Razu out. I mean... Razu, uh, Adrix, I'm sorry for making the game day decision that I could probably do more damage. Well, no, it's, it's fine. Are dragging Razu out of harm's way? 
Yeah. Yeah, because that should be enough, right? I would be there. I would be there. My plan was a kind of a Hail Mary of sorts anyway. But all right. <laughs> Is that all you're doing your turn? Uh, yeah, because I'm grabbing Razu and pulling her back, so I'm assuming that's my... Right. It's going to be the whole of my action. Oh, I guess it didn't happen. No sooner be, does, she, uh, does Razu whatever. get pulled out of the way that this giant carcass bowls over into the room as the two angry hill giants <laughs> burst in. I can't lock it. Just stop playing with it, man. Just leave it alone. Somebody should have locked that giant corpse. It's fine. My goodness. For having a opening. Birdie. You're right there. That's a critical hit. <laughs> oh no, oh, Birdie, I, I loved you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Birdie. <laughs> you had to make a constitution saving throw. Keep the tentacles off. And... Up. The other one's a 20. Oh no, that, that ship has sailed. <laughs> and she's just coming through with this, what looks like a piece of a broken chair, just a large plank of wood or something. And yeah, this is going to be fun damage to roll. So I get to roll many, many dice. This is like rolling fireball damage against one person. <laughs> <laughs> Just go ahead and get that out of the way. 31 points bludgeoning damage from the first hit. No, I'm down. It would be uncanny if you didn't. were still on your feet. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've got six hit points Okay, left. go ahead and make that first concentration check. DC 10. No, DC is higher than 10. No, yeah, I think it's 15. Dodged. Yeah, he, he dropped it to 15 okay. damage, so... Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, 10. So, I made a 14, so... Wait, how is how does Uncanny Dodge lower the DC? Because it lowers the amount of damage he takes. Right. I, I'm, I, that was just my, my best guess. If you're saying it doesn't, that's fine. I'm confused. Because <laughs> the what DC I, is damage-based. Right. Yeah, so the DC is how much damage, damage you took of... cut in half. So if he cuts in the amount of damage he took in half, then I would think that would cut the DC in half. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so that's why. That's it. it that's down. why I'm getting dodge help. Well, I rolled a 14, so. Yeah, so you pass that check. And second hit. <laughs> 15 points, bludgeoning damage. Now he's down. <laughs> As this one bursts in with her great club and just pounds you into the ground. Is that it? You're unconscious? Okay, then your yeah. spell does drop. Make a DC 99 concentration. And you see a pair of orcs poke their heads in after the tentacles vanish, trying to get a lay of the land. They look uh they look hairy, like they've just given chase. Uh and Razu, you're here as well. Yep, that's me. I did not roll nearly as well against you. Oh, I feel bad. I have a 17. Uh, that just hits. 12. And that does not. Hits. 17 points of bludgeoning damage from her great club as you manage to sidestep the first one and take the second one. Ooh. This is a problem. These hill giants look equal parts terrified and enraged. Uh, and they can't see the orcs because there's a chimney in the way, and the orcs can't see them, but can probably very clearly hear them bur bursting into the room like that. Right, that's going to bring us back to red.
Do we still have red? He is silent. Yeah. Oh, am I not? Yeah, no, you're he's he's hear you now. FYI, we heard you say, can, can I not? And then that's it. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't muted. Okay. Um, what type of action is it to drag Birdie out of the way? Uh, you're essentially moving him as through, as though through difficult terrain. And, uh, is my read on the party sheet right that I think only Razu has a healing potion still? Yeah, I think, I think I'm the only one that has one right now. Well, and Wendy has two, I think. Yeah, I have two. Okay. Wendy, can you deal with Birdie? I suppose. Okay, then. Unless someone wants to grab this off me. I'm kind of hoping if I manage to take that guy out, that, that I'll wrap up the fight. Let's get, uh, get to stabbing. <laughs> okay. We'll hit an armor class of 19. 19 will hit. For uh, 48 damage. 48. That's with the vulnerability? Yep. All right. You reach up and you stab her underneath yeah. the kneecap. That's as high as you can reach. Yep. Uh, let's give Razu advantage on his next attack against her. And that's right. the end of my turn. Yeah, her next attack against her. Uh, Razu, that's right now, actually. Oh, well, awesome. Uh, really would like to get Birdie back on his feet, but there's just too much, there's too much in the way. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> You do care. <laughs> uh, Razu, oh, Razu was that laugh? I didn't laugh. decides to cast an, to, to call an audible and switches to the trident that she's okay. got. And she's going to roll a 25 to hit. Hitting who? The, uh, the giant that's directly, that just, uh, that just took okay. a swipe at her. Actually, wait, no, I, I rolled out an advantage because it gave me advantage on that. Let's see if it turns into a critical. Nope. You guys haven't okay. identified this trident, right? Quite correct. Alright, so I'm going to put some paladin stank on it. Like, it, We'll just get right on that with our identify yeah, okay. spell. Uh, so it's a d6 plus some d4s. Razu, are you trained in Arcana? Uh, okay. no, I'm not. Uh, that's gonna be... Four piercing... Oh, no, eight piercing damage. And 14 radiant damage. After vulnerability. That's after vulnerability? Yeah. Plus, whatever nonsense happens with the trident. I bet we don't know what happens. You stabbed her, that's for sure. Yep. Yeah. As far as you can tell, it was just the pokey pokey of the trident and the radiance of your conquest abilities. You're wearing mailed gloves, right? Okay. Correct. And are you staying put in that position? Uh, I, I still got another okay. attack, so I will do. I will take that second attack. That is only a fourteen to hit. Uh, fourteen hits. Okay, then. Put some Palom and Stank on this other hit as well. Ooh, that's better. That's nine, That's uh, 18 piercing damage and 20 radiant damage. So 38 total? Roll a d8. Yes. Six. Six. She falls over backwards through the doorway. Good. And moves no more. And you're staying put there? Uh, I'm going to cl 
close to here. I'm going to be very upset if we find out one of these giants is Big Boof. No, she left in the cage. She's in the cage. Yeah, we, we left the... We checked, she was in the cage when yes. we left. Because I was going... I would have picked the lock on the cage if the uh, two hobgoblins had not been there. Bugbears. Bugbears. Bugbears, that's right. That's racist. Confusing, too, by the way. Yeah, I'm yeah. very offended by that. Okay. It's going to bring us to Birdie. That save. It is a fail. Uh-oh. Unless... No. no, that's a fail. No, not quite. Not, not within 10 feet. Sorry. Try to get closer. I don't think... Don't well, want to die. <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna let Birdie die. You sure? Yeah. I'm useful sometimes. <laughs> there was that one time. I I distinctly remember at least three times. Mm, two and a half times. I don't remember. Uh, just give me one second to look up how much this heals. Does anyone remember a healing potion? Potion of healing? 2d4 two two four four plus, plus 2. 2d4 two. Two plus 2. Okay, got it. Enjoy 5 points of healing. And then I'm going to... Key point dodge. Okay. Don't worry, Birdie. I can do way more than 5 points of damage with this club. How big is this giant? How big is this giant? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, 5th yeah. edition doesn't actually give t sizes outside of just the keywords, so huge. How wide huge. is this giant? I'm going <laughs> to fly on top of her and perch. Onto her head? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay. Make an athletics oh. check. <laughs> Is it gonna stay? That token is doing ridiculous. I said the token. Oh, <laughs> All right, that's a twenty. Yeah. Are you trying like to perch on her face or on her head, or what are you trying to do? Just on top. I'm just trying to get her attention so that she doesn't. You got her attention birdie. because that's my only as goal soon here. as you kind of put your talons on her head, as you come down to perch, she snaps her arm up and grapples you around the legs. Alright. Is it going to stay this time? I don't think it's going to stay this time. Come on, it's going to bring us to Adrix. Uh, if I take twenty, does that count as a crit? If you take twenty, if I spend, if I spend the four blips, mm, it counts as an no automatic hit. No. Yeah, that was a no last time it came up. No. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, plus you can always do that after you roll. He threw mm -hmm. his twenty away. That is a twenty. Hit that hits. Yeah, 20 anything hits. These are these are just hill giants. Hill giants are the little guys. Uh, all right. 20 damage. Okay. Uh, and <laughs> second attack. Uh, I'm going to forego it. And I'm going to instruct Red to shoot her in the face. Can I stab her, maybe? Does I have my sword out? Yeah, that works too. Just get that sword. Gonna... Does this get out? Does reach this... your face? Just saying. It's way high up there. <laughs> Does this add a bonus from your uh, tactician Champion. or whatever? Yes. Is that to hit or damage? Let's see if it. Uh... <laughs> mm -hmm. uh... 
Directing eye. Yeah. Adding superiority die to the damage roll. Uh, I'm going to spend two blips and. There we go. Much better this time. Uh, that'll hit a 23 on right. armor class. So Adric's going hit her in the face. I just flash back to that old WoW video where he's like, hit it very hard. Oh, this is already a one, right? Yeah. 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 Two damage, though, because it's. Yep. <laughs> 52 yes, damage. If you're like gonna kickflip off the broken table, you could get up there and get her in the face. <laughs> and she is bloodied as you just... put a big gash inside of her cheek down into her neck with your amazing kick flick move. Adrix, what's um... your input? You got Wendy locked up there. That's good. Let's, uh,. Let's action surge, right. why not? Do you still have a bonus action stab? Yeah, I do, actually. I got you're I got using your shield. Offhand. Yeah, I got my offhand going, so let's do an offhand. <laughs> so, that is a 17. 17 will hit. Alright. For another 7 damage, or 14 damage. Alright. Action surge. Let's start the ride again. Let's do this. Let's <laughs> do this rodeo all over backer. again. And now we all get back on this train. <laughs> uh, that is one of us is getting squished. <laughs> one it's of us is me. getting squished when he goes down. <laughs> or another twenty-two <laughs> damage. <laughs> Here we go. It's not me. I know that. I don't know where Burkhardt's starting from, but. Oh Five. god, I'm gonna get crushed. God. Oh no! What was it? Five. Five. Yeah. Uh, Wendy. Need a yeah. dexterity saving throw. Get plus three to this. You're I'm gonna put my action surge for that. Whatevs. That's a... 15? 15. As yeah. the hill giant just slumps down where she was standing, dead. Wendy, you kind of collapse on top of her, but you manage to not be knocked prone. And not sustain any damage. Good job. Adrix. Ugh, I didn't get crushed. finish it up here? Uh, yeah. Because uh, Birdie's up, right? Yeah, I am. Well, Brady's not dead. I'm just prone. Take 8 temp HP as Adrix yells at you to push yourself. <laughs> Brady gives him a little Brady. thumbs up. <laughs> you can do it. I believe Brady, in you. Just so you know, if he had rolled a different number on a D8, you would be very, very squished right now. <laughs> like, insanely squished. Yeah, but, you know. Yeah. You know. You hear considerable not, grunting but... and groaning and creaking of wood from the next room. And uh shouts back and forth in giant as you hear the two ogres and the remaining hill giant are apparently trying to move Flutrim away from danger. Oh we're not we're not trucking with that. <laughs> uh, I should have put Hunger of Hadar on top red. of him. I mean, come on. Did you say He's red? not going red. anywhere. Turn. All right. Uh, is there any difficult terrain from the corpses of the various hill yes. giants right now? The doorway here. That's the same ten squares as before. Uh, that's 20. What do I see when I first climb over you the corpse? You see... This hill giant has one of Flutrin's arms up over her shoulders. And these two ogres are trying and kind of failing to support him from the other side. Mm -hmm. Are you climbing up and over or coming down through? Uh, that was 20 feet of movement so far. Um, I just wanted to see what... When I got on top, I wanted to see what was going on. Um... But it's, it's, it's important to know whether you're climbing up and over this body or you're squeezing through the corner like a mouse. Oh, I'm, I was okay. squeezing through and the this corner. This last ogre is standing right here, and you see he's waiting for Wendy to friggin' land on top of this dead giant again so we can snatch her out of the air 
and he doesn't see you at all. So, really at all? No, he's see? intensely focused on or... the top of here, because Wendy kept jumping up on there and shooting and then jumping off. He's ready for her, man. He's right there, ready to go. Oh, body this asshole. Yeah. Body this asshole. That'll hit an armor class of, uh... 23? Oddly enough, yes, that will hit an ogre. Number six. Doom, 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 doom. So out comes the rapier. And out comes... Uh, 42, 42 damage. And he goes from full HP to bloodied in one strike. I don't know, you're losing your touch. Uh, cunning action dash, so he can take an AO if he wants. Uh, yeah, he's absolutely going to do that. Very... There's his reaction. You're good to go, Wendy. So. No, thanks. <laughs> Not clear. Oh, he might actually. Also, I wasn't you. talking to you. I thought I had uh, twenty. Yeah, right. it's Wendy shouts out. He goes before me in the turn order. <laughs> Twelve points, bludgeoning damage. Oh, I'm candy. That I'm seeing a red turn. As he does manage to crack you with a club as you mouse away from him. Red just sort of rolls with the club and uses the inertia to fling himself back Russell. behind the giant. Uh, okay. Um... Oh, and I'll tell everyone that they're trying to move the guy. Let's see. Five. Fifteen gets me up on top of the giant now that he's burned his reaction. Climbing for that. up on top? Uh, okay. Yeah. And then I'm going to do the same maneuver I did before. I'd slide back down to the other side. And uh, I'm going to take a javelin shot at uh, the orc eater. All right. That's an 18 to hit. 18 will hit. All right. D6 plus paladin stank. Uh, that's. 12 piercing damage and 30 radiant damage. So 42 to Flutrim. And Flutrim in this just pathetically wheezy groaning voice is beseeching. He says, My orcs, my mercenaries, you will, your reward is kill them, kill them all. And they do, all six of them, let fly with arrows. And these arrows fall on top of Flutrim and the three ogres. Is it wrong that when... Did, I get, did I get kill stolen? <laughs> okay, first of all, if anyone's getting kill stolen here, it's not you. <laughs> I don't know, I mean... Rasu successfully got the guy down to zero hit points, which is something Wendy completely failed to do. <laughs> Listen, zero is just a number. <laughs> zero is a concept. Zero is a state of mind. And this ogre drops. As volleys of arrows from the room fall upon Flutrim and the ogres. Let me make sure I... Give that one to you. We want to rob you guy of an ogre. Rob, rob you guys of an ogre. And the next thing that happens is going to sound like the dumbest shit you've ever heard. But I swear it's part of the module in Storm okay. King's Thunder. It's amazing. <laughs> an unarmed goblin snurt is stuck in the folds of Flutrum's flesh. While stuck, <laughs> the goblin is restrained and unable to speak and has total cover. When Flutrim drops to zero hit points, Snurt is no longer restrained and tumbles into an unoccupied space, gasping for air. He is not one of the six goblins guarding the room. So there he is. There's Snurt. <laughs> Hi, Snurt. <laughs> So, you're the best, you lash you're the out best with this javelin, putting it right in the back of Flutrim's neck, and he gasps out his last command to these orcs, and they fire upon him. They betray him, 
And as he tumbles forward, one of his fat rolls opens up, and his poor, sweaty, malnourished goblin <laughs> rolls out onto the floor. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's... <laughs> What are the uh, what are the two ogres on the uh, on, that were trying to trying to move him? Or what are they doing? Right, right both the of them have sustained some damage from the arrows. Uh, obviously, they've dropped it. They're no, they had no chance of bearing Flutrim's weight. Uh, but now that he's dead, they're kind of glancing around confusedly, and they're not really. Sh- you don't really know what's going to happen next. You still have part of your turn remaining, do you not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do. I do. I have some movement, and I also have... Notably, none of these arrows fell upon hill giants. Okay. Uh, Razu will go ahead and take another... take the uh, other javelin shot at this... at this... uh, at that... at that ogre. That ogre. That ogre. That's a 16 to hit. Uh, that'll hit. And that's her last javelin. Four. Man, this D this D six. What like this D six and the D four really love each other. Uh, that's a uh, uh, fourteen piercing damage. Fourteen, and he is now bloodied. Between the the orc's arrows and your javelin, this ogre is bloodied. You stay and put up there. All yes. Right, you're just perched atop this horrible landmass. World's perch. <laughs> These orcs running into the room. Uh, one of them, they both have arrows knocked as they come in, using their full movement to get up around this corner. One of them's coming over to back you guys up. The other one is going back around to this larger corner here. Oh, I'm sorry. And there's a third one. I don't think I don't know if any of you can see the third one, but why not put them on the map? Who's going around this corner here? Disappears through this back curtain. These orcs knock their bows again. That's going to bring us to Birdie. I'm going to stand up and uh, well, I'm going to squeeze through here. You said I can squeeze through with no trouble, right? Because you're small. Okay, so I'm just going to go here. And can I shoot through this, or do I need to get on the other side of here? Uh, you need to be on the other side this of this landmass here. Okay. Either crawl through or uh, perch up on top like Razu did. I'm going to go here. And I'll shoot okay. this guy with my... Uh, so you don't want to stop in this space anyway, because this has to be the nastiest space that's ever existed on one of my battle mats. Uh, this space exists... <laughs> Yeah, it's true. Snurt's an NPC, though. Nobody knows his pain. Okay, so that is a... 24 for 14 damage. 14 damage. damage. And that's enough of him. As he crashes to the ground. And you see as you're dropping these giants and ogres, when you're bringing them down, they're dying as much from just exhaustion of their illness as they are from the wounds. Are you moving or staying put? I am going to use the last of my movement to move here. So are you moving underneath this walkway, or are you climbing up on top of it? No, I'm under the walk. Okay. And that's going to bring us to my last augure. Is an augure like a Rasu. Hey. Natural 20. Of course. It's good knowing you, Razu. Nah, it's just yeah. over. This was a hill giant. You should be scared, but yeah. Mm, yeah, that would that would be scary. Twenty-two bludgeoning damage. From the over. Ooh, she takes it standing. Takes it on the chin. Get knocked off the tee. 
Nope. And after he takes this swipe, arrows come raining down on top of him. I want to take a picture of that roll because nobody will believe all these. Oh my God, okay, but he's dead anyway. How, how like all the nat twenties? Was one nat twenty, eighteen, 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 nineteen, fifteen, plus their <laughs> modifiers. I can't roll that well when I'm yeah, firing that's... at you guys, obviously. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that's true. And as these. The volley comes down, taking out this last ogre. Oh, let me give you guys credit for it on the XP chart. They all hop down from where they were perched before. Hop goblin. No, these are orcs. They're orcs. Same thing. Very not. <laughs> Birdie. I, that was Birdie's I will turn. End you. Right. Is that was my turn? turn. That's yeah. going to bring us to Windy. Uh, doesn't look like there's any more opponents on the field, does it? Where's the, find the hobgoblins? Yeah, I don't super feel the need to go hunt down the hobgoblins. I'm gonna go trek on the treasure. Okay, so where are you going? <laughs> this is this room's big enough for me to fly, oh, right? Yes, like it's a giant room. definitely. Keep in mind, you got to fly around this chimney. Although, unless you want to fly directly into the stove, which would be fine. Fly right out the other end. <laughs> the iron They're right through the stones. <laughs> King of the iron feathers. Uh, key point to dash. What do I see out here? What do you see out here? Well, first of all, you see a dead hobgoblin laying in the hallway up here. Yeah, that's terrible. But Having I been that killed by the uh, hunger of Hadar. Uh, how high up are you? Were you able to get? Uh, well, I mean, I can be as high up as the ceiling, but it's a question of how high this is, how high I want to be. Uh, the map doesn't go into that much detail here, but looking out, like uh, you taking an action? Uh, no, I just bonus action to uh, dash. Um, make a perception check. Uh, you, you can, as your action, make a perception check. Uh, I think I'm more interested in just kind of flying in through the entrance here. Okay. So what's going on in here? There's nobody in here, that's for sure. Any treasure in here? Let's find out, eh? This is the place where we were told they carry yes, the treasure. Yes, every day. It typically yes. was stored underneath Flutrum's butt palace. Litter. Uh, but once a day, the hobgoblins took it up into the gong tower, and you do know, notice the gong is still here. Uh, I do like gongs. But doing a quick once-over, you do not see the box, or any sign of the remaining hobgoblins. I'll call as loud as Wendy can call. Is that, is that l more or less than a lion can roar? It's more morose than a lion. Okay. It's going to bring us to Adrex. Adrex watches Windy leave, raises an eyebrow, and then goes, Oh yeah, the treasure! <laughs> Six. Dash! I like how he just assumes Action, this orc's sir. not going to want to take an attack of opportunity on him. <laughs> that, I like that to see him try. <laughs> Big John, the asshole. So Adrix is making a beeline he for the back curtain. Attack of opportunity. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Red, you're next. Uh, Red will. 10, 20. Climb over these bodies and call out in giantish. Uh, put your hands on the ground, and you won't be her armed. And there's no more giants in the room. I thought there were still the two. Oh, there's no more ogres in the room. I mean, women, they're all dead. Uh, yeah, yeah. This you can't see what she's doing. She's got this table upended, but you hear like vomiting and sobbing sounds on the other side. 
This one here, <laughs> she's kind of fallen to her knees, just exhausted, just dry heaving. And she's thrown uh, Flutrin's horrible, giant, like, turkey leg-looking arm off of her shoulder. She's no longer supporting the weight. Doesn't look like they're going to uh, continue the hostilities. Snurt is scrambling okay. away as fast as he can on what I have to assume are, like, broken and atrophied limbs at this point. I think I can move to about about there. That's the end of Red's turn. Okay. Uh, Rossu. Gotta find those hobgoblins. Hobogobos? Yep. Am I not allowed to call them that? Huh? <laughs> 30 dash 10 20 30. It gets me the bear. Okay. And that's my turn. That and Razu it, it says as much. He calls out, "We need to find those hobgoblins." The orcs take up what looks like defensive positions behind some of these tables. This guy here, right, these two guys here behind the table legs, two on either side of the door. Oop, didn't mean to do that. Sorry, dude. Uh, and this one just behind the upended table. And they're looking out this front door expectantly. Birdie. Uh, I'm going to cunning action dash and then regular action dash and then next to Adrix. Taters. And at this point, it's going to skitter across. The Etten comes stomping into the room. Oh, What's his speed? About that. Having dashed up the switchback path from the caves below, <laughs> just looking at the carnage in the room. And he sees the remaining two hill giants kind of cowering down. I guess I should say they. He's got two heads, so. Yeah. And he starts moving in one of their directions. I don't know. I prefer he's. Windy. All right, well. The only way these orcs are getting out of here faster than me is if they take a boat. So I just have to prevent them from doing that. So what I'm works? gonna... Hobgoblins. You mean the hobgoblins? <laughs> God, you are so racist. <laughs> Fine. The only way these goblinoids... <laughs> orcs aren't goblinoids. God damn it. Well, it doesn't matter. Hobgoblins are. I will. The only way these people... There you go. <laughs> saying goblinoids is like saying Asians. I fly out of this building. Wait a minute! <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, that's actually not right. Do you maybe want a chance to take that back before it goes on YouTube forever? No. What? I'm not allowed to equate varying types of racism? This is going on your report card for the week. Oh, no. I'm going to fly over here and see if they're trying to take a boat away with our treasure. Uh, you're only aware of an orc <laughs> out here on the docks. One of the three that came in. And I'll I'll let him know the hobgoblins are language? on the move with the treasure from the tower. And then I will... In what I language will... you say that? Uh, okay. Common. It's common's all I got. So if he doesn't speak common, I'll say... He's the one orc that, 30, speak, that speaks 40. Birdman's. Oh, damn it. <laughs> And I'll stop back okay. in here. I took the tour. Adrix. Adrix, they're not there. <laughs> but I ran all the way across this room. <laughs> they're still not there. Six. And you poke your head underneath the curtain and you see this one lone orc standing on the far dark, uh, far dock. 
Where's the treasure? He says in Orcish. To that orc. The orc calls back that looks like the hobgoblins betrayed us. Oh, he's pooping. <laughs> pooping with rage! Rage, huh? Rage poop. It's the angriest of poops. <laughs> Red. That's a thing you can do if your sim is angry in The Sims 4. You can take an angry dump. That's all of Adrix's turn. Red, so. you're up. Uh... Does this et do these Etten do they have a weapon of some sort? Oh yeah, they've got their big spiky uh morning star. In fact, they've got two of them, one in each hand. They can dual wield very efficiently because they have and everybody two wings. else has run very quickly away. Great. Um I'll yell out that's far enough and train my bow at him. He's gonna aim at him? Yeah. What's the What's the intent here? I mean, if he keeps moving, I'm going to shoot him. He keeps coming. To be clear, room. he's he's not eating any of the sick pig. Okay, I know. And also, y'all out in common, still got netting. <laughs> the that's far enough wasn't giant. <laughs> okay. So yeah, Razu, from back in the main hall, you hear Red call out, "Hey, they're still at Etten. Razu lets out a deep sigh and then turns back around. 10, 20, 30, dash, 10, 20, and then 30 puts her. So you're going to be underneath this platform or above it? Underneath okay. it. There's the low rolls uh -oh. I knew I was capable of. Probably still all going to hit, though. Big boy, big boy, big boy. As the orcs in the room fill up this Etten with arrows from behind. Well... Got him. I mean, he's still standing. He's not bloodied yet. Th these are orcs. These aren't... <laughs> these aren't dangerous uh, level 8 PCs that have 50 damage arrows. They're not goblins. They're not dillers. Red, what's your passive insight? Passive insight, I believe, is 19. Let me double check. Yes, 19. Looking at these orcs firing at this point, it seems as though now that they know which side is going to win this battle, they know they can safely bring down this Eden. They don't have to hedge their bets. I mean, haven't we already won the battle I mean, mostly? Th th this <laughs> Eden gets a turn right after you go, Birdie. I mean, yeah. I'm in the other room, so I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, there's no way I can make it back to the other room, so, let's see, what, I guess I'll just dash back over here next to Razu, like, double dash. Triple move. Yeah. With my five hit points. I love Mario Kart. Oh, I've got 13. <laughs> if you go down again, I'm not using another healing potion. The Eden sees that. <laughs> Flutrum lays dead, and the ogres are also dead. And it stumbles stupidly over and starts grabbing this hill giant up off the ground. It looks like he's going to try to drag her away. Uh, Wendy. All right. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. <laughs> Months are bullshit. I could go 19. <laughs> go 19. Go 19. 19 and a half. <laughs> are you taking a turn or just counting? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all, That's all I got. Adrix. Months are bullshit. Oh. Right, I'm a thing. Um, <laughs> I exist as a concept. To... And from that position, you can see yeah. back into Fisher Goblin's shack. All right. And he says, Howdy, Please. friend. I have a side uh, quest for you. If I recall correctly, there was a shiny thing in here. What? When Adrian Blast looked in here, a shiny thing. I thought there was. Yeah, there was something like that. It was, he was dude was sleeping, and then there was something else that stood out. <laughs> what was that? That was a noise. Are you gonna rob Fisher Goblin? <laughs> well, the rest of us are fighting in it. No, nothing. You don't see anything shiny. Just barrels of uh, fish and other foodstuffs and things. Uh, all right. and the goblinoids don't eat the same food that the giants and the, uh, the giants and them do. So no, a lot of fishing supplies in here. I mean, it would take you an action to actually go in and investigate and figure out what's in here. But no, at a glance, Fisher Goblin's gone. <clears throat> it's oh, no. Adric just lets out a loud string of curse words and draconic. Are they about fishing and goblins? Yeah. Nice. All right, Red, can you finish this off? Uh, two sure. questions. One, is she resisting? And two, if so, does that count as an ally? She definitely does not count as your <laughs> ally, but she is, try she is trying to resist him, but she doesn't have a lot of strength because she is in the deep throes of this flesh rot virus that you all sprung upon them. Eh... Liking the numbers, but that's a uh, it's a twenty one on armor class for uh, nine damage. Okay, and then let's go ahead and give him a stab with a dagger that hits an armor class of thirteen. Thirteen will also hit. Got him for four damage. He's bloodied, but he's got probably one more good round left in him. You stay put there? Yes, yeah, that was all my movement to get over there at a cunning action all dash. Right, Rasu, can you end it right now? Um, I don't have any ranged weapons left. I'll use my last javelin to kill the other guys. Uh, that's 10, let's see, that's 30 foot to there. And then... Like, 60 foot of movement gets me underneath the table over here. Is Windy on the table or I'm under the table? Oh, I'm okay. on the table, for sure. Carl's is under the table. Because she, she ain't gonna, she, she ain't gonna yes. parkour that shit. Alright, uh, I'm going to cunning action dash. Six. And I'm going to shoot uh, Etten okay. Man with, with my bow. Grandpa Etten. Tuck and roll. That'll hit a armor class of twenty. Action, action, man, roll. Let's see, Jim Kirk Maybe style. One more six. All and the sixes. D four. So that is good numbers. Good numbers. That's twenty eight damage. And that's enough to take care of the Etten man. Ettens aren't quite big enough for me to make you roll a D8, though, so it's not... Red's not in any danger of getting crushed underneath him. <laughs> and with that, there's no more hostile movement in the room. The orcs start to sweep towards the entrance. Uh, 
they quickly let Red know that they're going to hold off any other hostiles coming from the front by telling them that essentially the Flutrum's given orders to go outside and hold the front line. So any remaining giants and ogres still in the compound won't be a threat as long as you guys hold this position here. Wendy, can you and Bert, can you take Bertie and uh, go find those hog goblins from the from the air? She dropped me last time. What are the chances I drop you twice, though? Now that <laughs> now that you've asked that question, a hundred percent. But anyway, uh, if we're not off, we're off initiative. I'm gonna run here and see if I can't tell which way the uh, the uh, hobgoblins oh. went. Did they go out well, this door or this this curtain or this curtain? Something doesn't make sense. Because if the treasure's gone, they would have had gone through the hunger a second time. Unless not, they not the there's, there's a path, path that they down. usually bring to bring the treasure. Yeah, there's there. a path. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, the way they went. Really that's, that's the way they would have had to have gone. So they unless they took a left. boat. They didn't because I checked. But there were no boats. There were no boats. Yeah, there's before. no boats. Yeah. Outside. And that's what I was saying. They would have gone through the hunger a second time if they took came up here, took the treasure, and came back this way. So they've gone down this way somewhere. Adric says, thinking really hard about this, making sure he's so got all his no, facts straight. There was no way in the tower to go beneath the tower, right? There's not like a basement no, passage. Uh, not as far as you know. I mean, you've only glanced at it, and you can't see. So who's gonna? Uh, see, who's planning to investigate the whereabouts of the hobgoblins? I think Birdie and I are gonna go on that nice journey together. So is Adrix. So I'll just drop my pack and just carry my bow and my and my quiver of arrows and let's hey, go. What are you can just use my arrows. What are Red and Rasu going to be during doing during this time? Red is doing the thankless, disgusting work of scouring the uh, room of the Orc Eater for any worthwhile treasure worth salvaging. Okay. <laughs> when do you thank you? Probably questioning the goblins if they'll talk to me and if I speak a common language with them. Should be able to intimidate him if I need to. Looking for an opportunity to roleplay with Snurt. No, no, just <laughs> they're there. I'll, I'll, I'll free this one's leg. All right, this is a family podcast. We can't have any Snurt play. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take our break there. I would like to, uh, I would like to point out that the little bit that I read from the module pertaining to Snurt is the extent of his character development. He is not mentioned again anywhere else in the adventure. Just sure. That's it. 